Hi, it's Mrs. Quinn from the Comsweb Public Library. How are you today? I'm doing fine and I'm happy to see you. Let's sing a hello song before we start our library fun. Ready? You can clap like that. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Clap your hands. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm happy, I'm happy, and I hope that you are too. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm singing, I'm singing, and I hope that you are too. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm feeling a little hungry. Maybe sometimes you get hungry too. Hmm, I am feeling a little hungry, but I would like to spend some time with you before I have my lunch. And I'm thinking about fruits and vegetables. I just love fruits and vegetables, don't you? Nice fresh ones and cooked ones. And here's one of my favorite fruits. Here it is an apple oh i just love apples don't you well for our first library fun activity today we'll do some counting with mrs quinn's felt board and we'll pretend that we're making a pie with apples in it did you ever have apple pie mmm it's so delicious so here's my felt board And here's the pie crust all ready to put in some filling and some apples to make an apple pie. And here's how our counting song goes today. Mmm, ah, I was making a pie one day. Mmm, ah, I was making a pie. Mmm, ah, I was making a pie one day. And I need one big apple. One. Mm, ah, I was making a pie one day. Mm, ah, I was making a pie. Mm, ah, I was making a pie one day. And I needed another apple. Here's another one. Please help me count. How many apples do we have? One, two. Mmm, ah, I was making a pie one day. Mmm, ah, I was making a pie. Mmm, ah, I was making a pie one day. And I needed another apple. How many apples am I putting in the pie now? One two, three. They're gonna be sliced up and put in the pie. Yum, yum, yum. Mm -hmm. ah, I was making a pie one day. Mm -hmm. ah, I was making a pie. Mm -hmm. ah, I was making a pie one day. And I needed another apple. Mmm, there's going to be so many apples in that pie. How many do we have now? One, two, three, four. Do you think there's room for one more? I think so. Mmm, ah, I was making a pie one day. Mmm, ah, I was making a pie. Mmm, ah, I was making a pie one day. And I needed another apple. Here's one more. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. I think that will make a very nice apple pie. Do you think so? Mmm, I love thinking about apple pies. Thank you for helping me count today. Clap for yourselves. Nice job. 
Now, the next thing in our library fun today, when Mrs. Quinn is thinking about fruits and vegetables, and maybe you are too, is a finger play about making a salad. Hmm. Sometimes you can make a fruit salad. Sometimes you can make a salad with vegetables. And here are some of the vegetables you can put in your salad. Lettuce. Carrot. Tomatoes. Cucumber. That word is fun to say, cucumber. And peppers, mmm, nice sweet peppers. And then on top of the salad, a lot of people like to have salad dressing. So you mix up some salad dressing or you buy a bottle of salad dressing and you pour it on top and it is so delicious. So. Let's do a finger play together about making a salad. Are you ready? Get your hands like this. Okay, so just follow me. First, we're gonna think about lettuce. Grow, grow, grow us some lettuce. Grow, grow, grow us some lettuce. Now make your fingers like water, wash 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 up some lettuce wash 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 up some lettuce chop 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 up some lettuce chop 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 up some lettuce put it in our big salad yum 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 so here is the lettuce that we put in our salad next Let's put a carrot in our salad. Are you ready? Okay, hands ready. Grow, grow, grow us a carrot. Grow, grow, grow us a carrot. Remember how to water? Water, water, water the carrot. Water, water, water the carrot. Chop, chop, chop up the carrot. Chop, chop. Chop up the carrot, put it in our big salad. Yum, yum, yum. So we put in the carrot and now let's get ready some tomatoes. Some people say, and some scientists say, and they are correct, that a tomato is a fruit but a lot of people call it a vegetable and they are correct too, because that's usually how we use it. So here are some tomatoes. Mmm, I love tomatoes. How about you? Ready to put them in our salad? Okay, get ready. Grow, grow, grow up tomatoes. Grow, grow, grow up tomatoes. Water, water, water. Tomatoes, water, 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 tomatoes, chop, chop, chop up tomatoes, chop, chop, chop up tomatoes, put them in our big salad, yum, yum, yum. Tomatoes went in the salad, and now that word that I think sounds kind of fun, cucumbers. Grow, grow, grow us cucumbers. Grow, grow, grow us cucumbers. Water, 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 cucumbers. Water, 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 cucumbers. Chop, chop, chop up cucumbers. Chop, chop, chop up cucumbers. Put them in our big salad. Yum, yum, yum. And here are cucumbers in one piece and chopped up. So good, so delicious. Let's add some peppers to our salad. Are you ready? You know what to do. Grow, grow, grow us some peppers. Grow, grow, grow us some peppers. Water, water, Water the peppers, water, water, water the peppers. Chop, chop, chop up the peppers. 
peppers, chop, chop, chop up the peppers, put them in our big salad. Yum, yum, yum. Peppers are in. We have lots of things in our big salad. And now we need some salad dressing. Some people make salad dressing and they mix it. Some people buy salad dressing in a bottle and pour it. Today, I'm going to pretend I, pretend I am mixing up some salad dressing. Can you help me? All right. Mix, mix, mix up some dressing. Mix, mix, mix up some dressing. Mix and mix and mix up some dressing. Is it ready? And put it on our big salad. Yum, yum, yum. Wow. We made a pretend salad and maybe someday soon you'll have a real salad. Salad is very, very good for you. Yum. All right. I think it's time for a story. You can help me tell this story by moving around with me. So let's do a little stretch. Get ready to move, okay? And put your arms out here and your arms out here and move your head a little bit and your fingers and bend and bend, okay? Are you ready to help me tell a story? It's pretty nice to do, so just watch me. This is the story of the enormous turnip. Do you know what a turnip is? I'll show you. This is a drawing of a turnip. I drew the turnip and my son helped me put in all the colors. And this shows that the turnip is in the ground. Oh, here I wrote the word turnip, T-U-R-N-I-P, turnip. And above the ground, what do you see? Green leaves on a turnip. So, and turnips are really yummy to eat. They really are. You cook them and you mash them and they are delicious. All right, here is the story of the enormous turnip, a folktale from Russia. Once upon a time, there was a man, let's be a man, here we are. And he had a garden. The man also had a turnip seed and he wanted to plant it because he wanted to grow a turnip to cook and have for supper. So he dug a hole for the turnip seed. Can you pretend you're digging? Dig in the ground make a hole, dig and dig, dig and dig. Now take the turnip seed and drop it in the hole. Move the dirt, pat it down. And now let's give the turnip seed some water so it can grow. Are you ready? The man took his garden hose and he watered the turnip. All right, he went home after that. Another day, the man came to his garden and he saw that the turnip was small. He could see a little bit of the turnip poking up above the ground. And he said, oh, I must water the turnip. He got his hose and he watered the turnip and he went home. Another day, the man went to his garden and he saw that the turnip was bigger. And he was very happy because remember, he wanted to eat that turnip after he cooked it and then had it for supper. So the man brought the hose and he watered the turnip and he went home and he was getting hungry mm, for turnips. Well, another day, the man went to his garden and he saw the turnip. It was not small. It was not big. It was enormous. Do you know 
know what that word means? Enormous means very, very, very big. Well, he was very excited and he said, I think it's time to pull that turnip out of the ground, take it home to cook it and have it for supper. So he, t the man took a hold of those turnip leaves that were sticking up above the ground at the top of the turnip and he started to pull. Can you help us pull? Pull the turnip out, pull the turnip out, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Pull the turnip out, pull the turnip out, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. But the turnip stayed in the ground. So the man called for Grandma Nyepa to help him. Grandma Nyepa, can you do that? Grandma Nyepa, can you please help me pull out this turnip? Grandma Nyepa came running, make running fingers, running, 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 and said, yes, I'll help, I'll help. So the man pulled the turnip and the grandma pulled the man and they tried to get that turnip out of the ground. Can you help them by singing? Pull the turnip out, pull the turnip out, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Pull the turnip out, pull the turnip out, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. The turnip stayed in the ground. So, the man called for his son. Oh, son, can you please come and help pull the turnip out of the ground? And his son came running, 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 running. And the man was pulling the turnip and the grandma was pulling the man and the son was pulling the grandma, Grandma Niepa. And can you help them? Yes. Pull the turnip out, pull the turnip out, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Pull the turnip out, pull the turnip out, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Oh my, that turnip was enormous and it was still in the ground. So the man called for his dog. Oh dog, can you help us pull the turnip out? And the dog came running. Okay, the dog was there and the man was pulling the turnip and the grandma was pulling the man and the son was pulling the grandma Niepa, and the dog was pulling the son. Can you help them? Pull the turnip out, pull the turnip out, pull, pull, clap, 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 pull the turnip out. Pull the turnip out, pull, pull, and clap, clap, clap. The turnip was still in the ground. There was one more way to get that turnip out. Let's let a little tiny mouse help us. Okay, the man called. Oh, mouse, can you help us pull the turnip out? The mouse came running. And the man pulled the turnip. Grandma Niepa pulled the man. The son pulled the grandma. The dog pulled the son. And the mouse squeak, 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 pulled the dog. Okay, let's help them. I hope they get it out of the ground. Now I'm really hungry for turnips. Pull the turnip out. Pull the turnip out, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Pull the turnip out, pull the turnip out, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. And don't you know that once that mouse helped them, the turnip came popping out of the ground. It was enormous. They all fell down. <laughs>
the man and the grandma and the son and the dog and the mouse. But then they got up again. They all got together and carried the turnip into the house. The man got it ready and started cooking the turnip. And then they mashed the turnip with a masher. Mash, 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 mash. And they all sat down and had the turnip for supper. The end. And now you know the story of the enormous turnip, a folktale from Russia. The grandma's name was Grandma Nyepa. You might remember that. Did you know that in Russian, Nyepa means turnip? She was Grandma Turnip. I like that story. I hope you did too. All right, today I have a musical instrument to show you, and I must have left it in the other room. So maybe my helper can bring it over to me and make a sound with it when he brings it in. Make a sound. I have a helper. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was my son, Corey, helping me. Remember, he drew the colors on the turnip for us. It's nice to have helpers. Here is a musical instrument. It's called rhythm sticks. And you heard when Corey played it when he came in. You could make all kinds of rhythms with it. Some people have a rhythm stick that they call claves and they hold it in a special way and they hit it like this. Today, I'm going to use my rhythm sticks as rhythm sticks and play them like this. Now you might have rhythm sticks or sometime you can ask your grown up for something that you can use as rhythm sticks. But let me tell you something very important about rhythm sticks. Very important about rhythm sticks. When you play them, please sit in one place or stand in one place. Please do not run around with them. Okay? You can remember that, right? You can ask your grown up to help you. All right. Next, I'm going to tell you a mother goose rhyme about a vegetable named peas. And in between the lines of the mother goose rhyme, I will play the rhythm sticks. Then we'll do something even more special. You ready? Peas, porridge, hot. Peas, porridge, cold. Peas porridge in the pot. Nine days old. Did you know that porridge is kind of a very thick soup? Yeah, a lot of people like pea soup. Well, here's that mother goose rhyme. And when I play the rhythm sticks, I'm going to copy the rhythm of the words. Are you ready? Peas porridge hot. Peas porridge cold. Peas porridge in the pot. Nine days old. That was wonderful. Hooray! So someday maybe you'll play some rhythm sticks. And remember, be careful. Stay in one place when you're playing them, okay? Mm, I'm getting hungrier and hungrier and hungrier. But that's okay, because we're together. And we're going to do one more fun thing in today's library fun. And that is we're going to sing a song about a grocery store and some very funny fruits and vegetables. So I'll pick up my guitar. I'll make sure it's in tune. That sounds good. Hmm. Maybe you play the guitar too. This song, The Corner Grocery Store, was written by Raffi. He has it on some albums that he uh, made of his music. And I love this song. Today, I'm going to make up some words of my own 
and I'm going to mix them up with the words that Rafi used when he wrote this song and played it. So some of my words are about going to the store and forgetting my shopping list. Did you ever make a shopping list? Maybe your grown-up made a shopping list. So you look at the list and you know what you need. Well, listen what happens on this trip to the grocery store. You can stand up and dance or clap along or you can sing whatever you like. Are you ready? I was shopping, 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 shopping in the store. In the store. I was shopping, 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 shopping in the corner grocery store. I see so many foods around me. I have not got my list with me. I have not got my list with me. I saw peas, peas walking on their knees in the store in the store i saw peas peas walking on their knees in the corner grocery store i see so many foods around me i have not got my list with me i have not got my list with me What's gonna happen next? There were plums, plums, twiddling their thumbs in the store. In the store, there were plums, plums, twiddling their thumbs in the corner grocery store. I see so many foods around me. I have not got my list with me. I have sharing that song with you. I hope to see you soon. I hope you had fun in library fun today. I did. And you take care, okay? I'm thinking about you. Bye.